Kumpas is a empowerment house for youth, first in Oslo, and then we want to have a model that can be used in different places in Norway. The idea is not new, it's uh, Jamie Oliver have done that in London with his restaurant called 15 Restaurant. The thing with food is that everybody knows. Everybody knows food. You have something that you have made together and that also makes uh, everybody on the same level. And food has always been a very safe thing in my house. From when I was a kid, when we had food, it was where ev all the stories of the days were told. And it's also about taking care of you in yourself. And these kids, they, they, if you ask them what they eat, it's just those fast food stuff. Um, because it doesn't cost so much and they, it, they think it tastes really good. But they don't know how to, how to make food. They don't know where the food comes from. They think that the vegetables come from the grocery store. So food for us is just one of many empowerment areas. For instance, I've been working with a girl for one year and she has resisted me all the time. Why are you calling me? Don't call me. And after one year, she has started to open up. For her, it's good to be in the kitchen. We are doing a practical work. I'm not just sitting uh, with her in an office just talking, because then that kid feels that you are interested in me because you're interested in me, not because your uh, job assignment says so. I want to combine youth with elderly because uh, they both are like outsiders in the Norwegian society and they both have so much to learn from each other. What we did was to call our elderly center and say, listen, we have a project. We have 10 kids. It's just for the summer. We are making homemade meals. And instead of you buying microwave food for these elderly, why don't you help us motivate these elderly people to buy the food from us? After four weeks, those elderly were, they were so sad for us not coming there after the summer because they were like, well, what about Christmas? What about when I have my birthday? What about Easter? And uh, some of them were so close with some kids that when they knew that this kid is coming today, they were waiting outside for them to come. And I think these kids need to meet uh, the elderly for them to reflect on how they are living their lives. Uh, and and that, those meetings have to exist for these kids to do that kind of reflection. You know, that is what we want to be with these kids, to be a good role model because they have lost their role models. If you want to be a good ex example, you have to first be a good example for yourself. One of the main thing for not knowing what their issues are is that they, they don't turn up. They don't turn up in school, so we, they don't, the school don't know are you good in math or Norwegian or where are you in your level. It's all about the small things you see. It's not that they come to me and they work with me and after that they go to school and they get fantastic grades. No, their grades are still bad, but they show up more, you know? They, they use drugs less. They, um, they can stand and talk for themselves for a longer period. My dream is to build something uh, that is sustainable uh, after my time in this world.